Okay, we're going to talk today about how to find primary source research for your history class. So probably the, the best place that I would start off with would I would be, I would go here databases by subject from the library website. And I would go down here to uh, history. And I like this database here. This is my favorite for history, US history in context. Now you can also find that uh, if you go library databases A to Z and just go to U, you can find US history in context right there, either way. <clears throat> And uh, this database, it kind of works like the Opposing Viewpoints database. If you've used that, it's just for U.S. history. So let's put in here, we'll put in uh, American Revolution. Okay. Now, it's great if it comes up in bold. That means they've created a whole page for it, which is terrific. When we click that, what it's going to do is bring up a bunch of different sources on this topic. And if you're looking specifically for primary sources, you can see they're listed right there. You could click on them. Or you could just kind of scroll through here and here's primary sources and there's 150 primary sources on the American Revolution and you could click here and, and what a primary source is I guess we should have talked about that you probably know this but a primary source is an actual document from the time when we're talking about history sometimes primary sources mean different things but with history primary source means something written by someone who is there or someone from that time so you can see here Abigail Adams letters March 31st and May 7th, 1776. So these are transcripts of actual letters that Abigail, Abigail Adams wrote. A battle between Serapis and Bonhomme Richard. This would have been, this will be an account written at that time. And you can sometimes there'll be acts of Congress. Uh, there's, but these would be written, all written by people who were there at the time. So there's a lot of those. It's also, this is one of those things that it's actually pretty easy to Google as well. If you were to go to Google, and I'll just put an American Revolution uh, because primary sources are so old uh, they're all going to be free online as well so I would just type in American Revolution primary source and there's all sorts of great websites that will come up with really great uh, primary sources here's from the Library of Congress and they even have the pictures of the actual sources here so that would be, it's really pretty easy to find primary sources if you know how to look. Uh, in, in Google, just type in primary sources and then the, the, uh, the topic you're looking for. And then this, this database uh, is, is a great database, U.S. History and Context, because it kind of arranges them for you. I like how it arranges them. And then also it doesn't just have primary sources. It has all these different types of sources in here great great database you can probably do most of the research or all of the research you would need to do for your history courses here uh, using this database okay that's pretty much it pretty easy